capturing many people's imagination at the fair today is virtual reality. And it may surprise you to know that increasingly, this is becoming a pillar of design in industrial manufacturing. We went to visit Jaguar Land Rover in the UK to see what happens when a car company uses technology like this. Twenty-first century car design at Jaguar Land Rover involves venturing inside the cave. If you can imagine a designer who wants to see his concept, he can come down here, he can understand the lines, he can understand the shape of the car. This state-of-the-art innovation centre is where concepts become cars in a virtual world before a single piece of metal needs to be cast. Traditionally, it would have all been done physically. We would have to wait around until we got prototypes to understand how the things would go together. So once I've got these glasses on, I'm controlling everything that happens. You are. You're immersed where you couldn't do it in a real world. And this really gives our engineers a great advantage because you can put your head anywhere within this vehicle. In the ergonomic lab, technology more familiar to the world of gaming and entertainment is being used to design factories. A motion capture suit fitted with 19 sensors propels me onto a virtual production line. Each limb has a series of sensors so you can track each as the joints move. You simply place on the head mount display and that will present each eye with a different image. And then I can make my way over to my station. And you're free to interact. It's vital that when something happens that they've got the ability to go in and be able to change things and and fix things without, without stopping the line for too long. It's all about optimising the productivity of the plant. This is a really clever use of technology to test the ergonomics of something early in the design process. What it allows is to make your mistakes in the virtual world so that you don't have to build a car, let alone an entire factory, only to discover it doesn't work as well as you would have liked. Anything where a human has to interact, it can be done in the virtual world. If we want to change a line, which is an existing property, we can use it in the virtual world and understand how that line is set up and how that vehicle will move down that line. But also the efficiency of that site, so we can mimic uh, suppliers supplying stuff into the site and understand the logistics of that site working. So it really does come down to making it more productive. From the virtual world to the reality of the factory floor. The actual layout of the facility is optimised for its flow and its flexibility. Here at the company's new $750 million engine plant, the challenge is to get the factory purring as sweetly as the engines it produces. Factory design is of course absolutely crucial to efficiency. Putting together incredibly complex engines still requires quite a lot of manual labour and that is why here it's all about making the most of man, machine and robotics interacting. That interaction involves choreographing the production of an engine made up of around 250 separate parts. It's not just automation, it's not just robots, there's a lot of IT infrastructure as well that actually knits all of this together. And it's a very flexible manufacturing facility, so a lot of the machines we can actually move to do other, other manufacturing. From designing cars to creating the best environment to make them in, virtual design tools are becoming a significant driving force behind developing faster, more efficient production lines.